All right, once again, I've had the hydraulic buttons go out on it. So these are the two buttons, up and down, in and out, whatever. Um, the issue that I'm having is they stopped working. And this is the third time that this has been dealt with. So the very first time the dealer came out, it was under warranty, so they fixed it. And then it was out of warranty when it went out again, so I fixed it. And then the last time I had to do that, I ended up buying this, which is a $1,000 kit. It's this joystick here. It doesn't come with the rubber grommet thing and the wiring. $1,000 for this. So I fixed it, and I was like, I really don't want to spend $1,000. But then I was like, but then if it does this again, do I really want to keep fixing it? So the problem is... There's a gap here. It's cut out like a U-shape. The wires go in and they come up through here and they go up into the controller. Well, when you do this and this and this and this and this, you can see the wires move. So what's that doing is it's chafing the wires back and forth, cutting them through. So I am I think the last time I drilled that out a little bit more, and I put a bunch of electrical tape on there, and I put this on there um, just to protect it more. And that didn't work out for as long as I was hoping. So I'm either A, going to replace that, or I'm going to try to fix it again. So once I pull this out, which is four bolts, one here, one there, one there, one in the back. Pull that down, this whole thing drops down, and then I can uh, assess the damages again. I was using this machine on a small job and it was working okay, but you'd have to like maneuver your fingers around the buttons a little bit and uh, to, to make it actually make contact. So either A, the wires are just destroyed here or the buttons are bad. And if the buttons are bad, then this just, then they need to build a better system here. I almost thought about making foot controls for the buttons, but I'm just not going to do all that work. I'd it'd be a little easier to have it here. Putting the wires in there wasn't that easy. I actually ended up soldering all the, the joints because there wasn't enough room to do butt connectors. There's that. And this big grommet just pops out right like that. And then the wires come in this little piece here which they don't actually look chafed so it might just be the buttons are uh, no good anymore so and all we have to do to see if the buttons are bad or the wiring is bad is hook up the thousand dollar switch and see what happens thousand dollars for this it's crazy And this is the second actual one that's first one went bad, then they replaced it. This is like the third. So, well, yeah, let's see here. Oh, hooking it up to itself. All right, let's see here. Let's start it up. Here it's working. Oh, you press it too much and it shuts it off. Again. Open. Close. Open. Close. Alright. So, thinking the buttons are bad. I'm going to pull the electrical tape off of the wires here. Oops. Let's see what happens. Oh, so crazy. They want so much money for this plastic and wire stuff. But you know what? If you need it, you'll buy it. So, of course, they can charge that much. 
I wish it came with this whole rubber grommet, but that probably would need another $80 piece of rubber. I really just need this thing to work so I could finish the job. Because I don't want to bring a different machine because this one's just a little bit easier to get to everything where I'm at. And then I can bring more equipment, more attachments with the smaller machine than I can with the, like the 75. I'm not seeing any damage wires or anything here. I'm thinking this is fine. Something else has got to be messed up here. Pull this all the way off. Okay, got it off. Found out that the brown wire here has broke. So I am going to extend the wire from here to here. Somehow, I'll probably just solder that joint and then uh, reconnect everything. Because I don't want to use this $1,000 part if I don't have to just yet. So I'm probably going to fix that, wrap it back up, and put it back together. But uh, see, I've already replaced a couple of these wires and fixed some stuff on here. The white, green, and yellow, I don't think the brown one something I replaced but the for sure the white green and yellow I actually replaced those with uh, trailer light wiring because that's all I had here but uh, I am going to fix this and put it back together and hopefully that will be it all right I've got the wires soldered here they're the only ones that I see that are damaged uh, now I'm going to test it out make sure the uh, buttons work and then I'll put it all back together this little connector here. All right, let's start it. working now all i'm gonna have to do is wrap this in electrical tape i'm gonna wrap it all the way through and then make sure there's enough wire in there so when i'm moving this around it doesn't rip it out and then uh put it back together that's it really so if this does it again maybe i'll replace it with the with the new part i'm not sure i don't really want to waste this part just yet but uh might have to eventually so what i noticed a while ago is i'm having a lot of play in this function so what i'm going to do is i'm going to loosen these up and spin this down and hopefully that will take up this play that i have here because it's just too much like that is just too much play for no movement of the actual hydraulics. All right, so I loosen this up and you can spin the bottom one down a little bit and it's got way better response now than it did before. And I'm not sure if that could have given in also to the wires breaking because that was a lot more slop and a lot more play now it's now it's not even really moving so i don't want to have it like super tight so it's actually putting pressure on the valves because there's four valves it looks like down there or four spring valves that this rides on that this little plate rides on down there and that puts 
you know pressure on each one whichever way you're trying to use it so i'll probably go just touching everything and then tighten it all the only part you really need to like make sure is good is see i adjusted this so it's nice and tight now but when you move this the wire moves with it which is a terrible terrible design they should have done it a little bit different so i'm debating on electrical taping this to this controller and just having it stay with it i'm not sure because the fur the furthest is right there so it pulls out that much so i might pull it out far and then electrical tape it there and then put it back on and then it should be should be good to go i hope just kind of a crappy design they could have made this better for what this is but it is what it is now all right if you're working on one of these tractors like this it's a little seo 1000 make sure you put a shirt or something in here to cover all the stuff because if you drop one of these bolts down there Good luck finding it. So, I actually lost one the last time I did this because I did not have a shirt down there, which I do now, but I didn't before. So, that one back there is a different color than this one because I actually found this bolt somewhere else and cut it to this length. Okay, it's all done. Let's uh, see if what I did actually worked and there's no problems. I did test it. But I didn't test the actual, like, tightness to see if it was t too tight on the, uh, the hydraulic valves here. issue with this button here I think that there's some water in it and it's having a bad contact so just dropping the bucket by itself and I did wash this off earlier and it was in the rain so this is obviously not a um, yeah it's definitely not a uh, water resistant button. It's definitely tighter. I like that. It's tighter. But before it was like just doing some more of our first work. This one this one's still decently tight. I don't really want to mess with that one. Fuck it. So now I'm just going to keep the $1,000 switch with me anytime I go to a job, just in case <clears throat> I need to swap it out. These wires are so small. But yeah, fix that so that works now. And um, it probably is better to get a new bushing or a new grommet here because down there are the valves and they're pretty dirty. Kind of hard to see down there, but they're dirty. But anyways, you don't want super amount of dirt just getting in there and just causing some problems you don't want to have. <laughs> 